Monday the 26th will be the next local government election in Jamaica, uh, February the 26th. And, uh, and at present, there's a lot of people are now going up and down campaigning for the election. But I must say, though, thinking about it, it's, it, it is coming across, and many people are saying is that it is coming across like a general election. It is like a referendum on the prime minister or it's a referendum on the impact or the inroad by the opposition uh, um, People's National Party. Is it? That's what people are saying. But really and truly, what is not seen or I'm picking up or what I'm hearing is a focus on the local government, local issues, you know? But at the same time, national issues are also local issues. Someone said recently that even though the building of a uh, police station may seem like a national issue, but really and truly it is also a local issue. Building of a hospital may deem to be uh, a national issue, but it's also a local issue. And, and that is something which is being picked up. But all I can say really in leading up to election, and I'm speaking from the diaspora perspective because there, there, we, we do not have the right to vote as yet in the elections in jamaica now don't get me wrong you can you, you still can vote you know, people overseas can you know, if you're a dual citizenship as as those in the uk you can have your jamaican passport whatever you can go down and you can register that's what is being said but what i'm actually talking about is that there is not the facility in place where someone can actually vote from the uk vote from the usa vote from canada where they are maybe like going to a high commission or so and to vote in the election can you hear the birds the birds are beautiful the birds are actually say, um, agreeing with what i'm saying i want to encourage persons though to vote and I, I believe it is a mechanism or a practice which will serve jamaica very well you see we are embarking on a process of constitutional reform in jamaica and i believe that the voting people voting will make a big difference the last election, as I've been saying that many times, there was a 37 point something percent that turned out to vote in the general election 2020. And normally general election is more excited than um, a local government election. But at the same time, that was during the COVID period. So one could say maybe the turnout was that low. And, and the figure was that of the, the 1.9 million people were on the voters list. And, and I don't know what it is today. And I can check it out, of course in 2024 but at that time in 2020 it was 1.9 something and of that amount 37.8 percent voted so that was over 700 and something um, thousand voted and think about it again the popular vote was 408,376 voted for the, the jamaica labor party 305,950 voted for the opposition people's national party the seats won was 49 for the PN, for the JLP and 14 seats won for the PNP. Why vote? It is very important. Many people died for this opportunity. Many people um, campaigned. Many people all over the world, they fought. Women fought for their rights. But we cannot disenfranchise ourselves. Mark you, you can go out there and decide that you won't vote in a strategic way. But one must actually try to ensure that your name is on the voters list. When it comes on to a referendum, when it comes on to the constitutional reform, when it comes on to whether or not you want to retain the king as a head of state, that is gonna be voting. You don't want a 37% um, turnout to vote on something so powerful like that. I believe it's opportune time for Jamaica to, to rule itself, for Jamaica to have its um, a republic. I believe it is time for Jamaica to have the Caribbean Court of Justice as its final court of appeal, not the Privy Council, even though many will argue, well, depending on the outcome of cartel um, appeal, people may say, well, this shows why we need to retain it. That is, if cartel come off and then it's going to be a referendum or, uh, uh, what should I say, looking at the judicial system in Jamaica. But voting is so important. So I encourage everyone to vote in the next election the local government election in 2024, February the 26th. And also, please have a look out for the independents. 
uh, uh, and, and the alternative parties, alternative voices. I was disappointed. Well, that's me overseas. I, I don't know about others. But I was disappointed that the, 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 the mainstream media somehow have not sought out the independence to give them a voice. Is it? Or maybe I'm not listening. The UIC, Marcos Gava Party, NDM, Action Jamaica, and all these different groups there are out there. They are, they are wanting to make a dent in the world. There is, and there should be alternative voices which are encouraged. I want to encourage that. So please go out there and vote. Exercise your right. Everyone, maybe it's too late now to be on the, register, on the voters list, but if you're on the voters list, do, let's, let's make it a 70% turnout the minimum, not 30%. Please. My name is Silver and Sidio. In the King's Manor. Yes, London, UK. You know, but you should still aim to remove the king as head of state and remove the governor general and have a republic and have a president. And the president that you have should be one which is um, contained or controlled or constrained by the constitution. The constitution should be shaped a way by you can recall. The constitution should be shaped in many a way that, um, you know, it is not like how it is whereby you don't have fixed state parliament. You should have fixed state parliament by now. Or, or, or fixed state elections. Come on, man. Come on. Let's, let's, let's change the game. Silver and Sidiel. Peace out. Bye-bye.